Yo, what is going on guys? It's Manny and today I'll be doing an attack mission main tier list. Now this video was heavily requested for a while now and I was originally not going to do an attack mission main tier list but a lot of you guys were asking for it in my previous um, support uh, tier list. So I decided to, you know, actually make this list. Now you'll, you'll see soon on my channel, I haven't been active recently because, uh, sorry, I've been a bit busy and I actually have been just working on this list, trying to make it as solid as I can. Now before I get onto this video, if you are new around here, uh, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, all that good stuff. I, uh, my channel is definitely more of a, I guess, nerdy channel where I just go in depth on, you know, meta ninjas and it's definitely uh, more of a discussion, try hard and get good at the game type channel. So if you do enjoy that content, do check me out. Uh, without further ado, let's go on into the uh, double S tier category. So in the double S tier, we're going to have Obito Uchiha, Shisui Uchiha and Rin Nohara. So Obito, Shisui, and Rin. Let me just drag them up. Okay, so the reasons why uh, these three ninjas are the best mains in the game are because they have extremely, extremely broken ultimates and they all have their own unique BS in the game. So I'm gonna start off with Obito. Um, I do think Obito is the best main and also the most free to play friendly main. As you can see, I do have recommended alt levels for these ninjas if it is necessary. And unfortunately, for all the best mains in the game right now, it is necessary to have their ultimate at a decently high level. Um, but Obito is obviously the more free to play one as it is, uh, it is lower. Um, I will like to say that uh, thanks to Bandai with their uh, anniversary login bonus, the first day we can actually get a rainbow ultimate frog and as well as the uh, the new uh, challenge to veteran shinobi super di super difficulty mission um it, uh, it allows us to get two golden frogs so a lot of you guys should be able to get obito's ultimate to of course um at least level five or even higher um but yeah why is obito the best main i mean he has the best ultimate in the game a multi-hit full tire ultimate that only has a 46 second cooldown uh, 42 seconds in fact if you use the abilities as well as a one jutsu combo what i mean by that he literally has a three second cooldown on this giant shuriken which combos into itself you inflict a medium seal on the opponent it's pretty much guaranteed and it pierces through iframes and this jutsu does more damage to ninjas with seal effect and obito seals them for over 10 seconds so you can use three of these giant shurikens um, to kill an enemy and this jutsu does in insane amounts of damage on top of that he does have the full, full room tell or oh, not full my bad the uh the random tile teleport and uh it's obviously it's random but it definitely just gets you places it allows you to skip the revive ninja if they do not place it before the final room and yeah obito is just a massive massive threat um this is definitely the recommended kit i i would go with obito and not the jump because I do think the jump, I'm, I'm not the other jutsu, my bad, because I do think the jump is important because um, this random teleport can sometimes put you in awkward positions. However, if you do have the default jump jutsu, you're able to jump around and um, not get flung by tornado traps. But yeah, so this is the best kit for Obito, just his re-kit jutsus and his ultimate at a high level. Moving on to Shisui Uchiha. Now there has been a lot of debate going on around a lot of Discord channels and, and Facebook groups and whatnot if Shisui is still decent. Now what I will say is Shisui is definitely more on the uh, more or less free to play friendly and more on the pay to win aspect because not only do you need Shisui at a high level ultimate, you definitely are going to find even at a high level ultimate if you don't have the greatest cards to put on Shisui, meaning if you don't have any stat cards that can bolster Shisui's chakra and whatnot, you might find it a bit difficult to use Shisui and conserve his chakra because his jutsus are pretty chakra heavy. However, if you are fortunate enough like myself and play the game for a while now and have these stat cards, or if you are a whale and you do have all the stat cards for Shisui, um, he's still a massive, massive threat, a huge monster. 
his ultimate is a full tile single hit ultimate however that is kind of nullified by the fact that he can he's invincible for 10 seconds after he uses his ultimate and i mean you can literally do anything to the enemies without a care in the world because again you are invincible for 10 seconds on top of that he does have um, the best teleport jutsu in the game right now which is a uh, regular one second cooldown teleport that gives small uh, no, that gives a medium evasion and speed buff as well as the fact that he has two incredible jutsu that combo infinitely in each other um, unlike obito shuriken you actually can infinitely knock down the enemy with the kunai's and the slash kunai's doing a lot of damage both of them actually doing dot as well which means uh, damage over time but the kunai's do insane damage you can use the kunai's use the slash and keep them um, constantly knocked down which is what makes you sweet so broken um, also the sword slash is an iframe so you can iframe uh, some things if need be moving on to the third best main i think that is in the game and that is rin nohora now again another sad thing about rin is you're gonna have to have the sam ult the surprise attack mission ult that you could acquire when Rin was a featured um, ninja for the surprise attack mission. If you don't have this ultimate, unfortunately, she's definitely not nowhere near double STR if you don't have this ult. And you have to also have this ultimate at a very high level because at level 8, um, this jutsu is 25 second cooldown with abilities. And that's just insane. That's honestly just insane. It becomes literally just a regular jutsu, right? And it gives the whole team 10 seconds of invincibility. So essentially, your team is only vulnerable for 15 seconds right but that's never going to happen because you know you're going to spend time going to other ninja tiles and whatnot and this log due to uh, rin's log pretty much guarantees to have all your supports with you most of the time especially if you have klm naruto as a sub this log due to just clears all the traps in front and this chakra due to just heals all your chakra back so rin literally has infinite chakra you can never run a chakra um and then she has two great supporting jutsus for the team uh, one being an iframe and large attack buff for the whole team iframe is only for herself but the large attack buff is for everyone um, and this confusion trap which again just turns off the ai again my recommended kit would be um, just her regular jutsus with the kunai chakra heal log and her sam ult also forgot to mention shisui's recommended kit is just his old kit all the old jutsus nothing in his rekit because his rekit honestly is not very good but that is going to round off the double s tier moving on to the s plus tier now originally i only had hokage naruto in the s plus tier which is a bit dead so i had to move someone from the s slash s minus tier forward and i looked at that tier and i was like you know what because again of how broken supports are um as you can see uh rin's really high up because you can bring your subs this other ninja that i'm going to put in s plus tier is going to be reanimated minato now it's a bit controversial but i will explain my reasons why as i put him so high in the list and oh spoilers to the s tier list but um in fact since you already saw it, i might as well just put the s as well uh, so in the S tier, we're going to have KLM Naruto, 6 Pass Naruto, um, Rinnegan Sasuke, and Sasuke One Green Ninja. If I can find him. Uh, am I blind? Okay, he's in the bottom left. Here he is. So, uh, okay, no, this is good enough. <laughs> so, um, let's go over the S plus slash just over s tier category and why they're so good again i cannot stress enough the bill the ability to bring your supports with you at all times is just really really broken because supports in the game right now are honestly insane just because of how strong they are and hokage naruto has the best trap clearing jutsu with his shadow clone jutsu um, as well as that it is a high damaging jutsu that can just rail enemies and knock them down in combination with the Rasen Shuriken as well which can put them in an infinite loop and they can't they literally can't get up just like with Shisui you can just infinitely combo them and boom they're gone the only problem with Hokage Naruto is again you can't guarantee the safety 100% of the time with your supports like Rin because again he doesn't provide any healing but I mean he's still a broken broken main 
The final jutsu I would put on Hokage Naruto would be his um, iframe jutsu, just in case some things get sticky, you can always bust out the iframe and save yourself. Um, the ultimate I recommend again is only his Riki ultimate because his first ultimate is just not good enough. Um, sometimes you can't kill at level 1 and it's not really, the range on it is not that great compared to this um, Riki ultimate. If you do have this, these jutsu and the old ultimate, Naruto is still good. But he's probably just going to be maybe S slash S minus tier if you don't have the Rekit Ultimate. But if you do have the Rekit Ultimate, he's definitely in the S plus tier category. He is a monster that has stood the test of time. Um, again, Minato, reanimated. Why is he so high? The ability to bring your ninjas with you. Cannot stress it enough. It is broken. It is honestly so broken. Um, again, he can do that with his Shadow Clone Jutsu. Um, again, it's not as good as... Uh, the shadow clone on naruto because he only sends one forward so you do have to be a bit more careful when you trigger traps and check and trigger traps more thoroughly compared to hikage naruto however essentially he's still really really good he has also a very very good kill combo it is harder to do but if you get the hang of it you can actually kill combo a lot of ninjas just with um the rasengan and the um that shadow clone jutsu and the third jutsu that I would equip on him is either the iframe jutsu or the room teleport, depends on what you like. I personally would prefer the iframe jutsu because it gives a, um, a medium attack, defense and critical buff and it gives him iframe. And you're not going to really need the room teleport when you have your supports with you at all times. But I mean it could be nice in case one uh, support does get split off, you could maybe teleport into that tile and save them. Uh, Minato also has the luxury of having Eva ultimate at level 1 being very very deadly and you can just kill and they're both ultimates actually amazing so Minato is going to round off the S plus slash S tier category um, again I'm going to quickly go over the, well not quickly I'm going to thoroughly go over the S and S minus tier um, so the S and oh not bad the S and S minus tier we have um Actually, before I go into this S and S minus tier, a lot of you people might be like wondering, how on earth is Naruto not double S tier? How on earth is Rina Sasuke not double S tier? I can inform you that again, if you are in this part of the video, you, you probably I don't know, you probably you probably clicked off by now if you've seen Naruto S minus, but you can, um, as as you can see, you can just make this S tier, make this S S S S plus, and make this triple S tier, right? But I mean. Then it kind of just looks a bit ridiculous, right? So I just kind of dumbed, like, I dumbed it down, made it more realistic, and yeah, so just thought I'd quickly note that. My point is these ninjas are slightly better than these as a main. I'm not saying that any of these are bad, necessarily. But um, yeah, so why is Sage of Six Pass Naruto so good? I mean, his kill combo is absolutely insane. He, he can kill ninjas so quickly and um, this jutsu has a very high chance to seal because it hits four times. The lava rice and shuriken just puts a lava puddle on the ground, does crazy amounts of damage and his ultimate is honestly really good as well because um, the range on the ultimate is almost full tile. It, like if you throw it forward it's going to kill, it's going to kill like every ninja on the battlefield in the final room so I mean if that's and as long as it can do that, it's good, and it's quick enough as well. So it can kill, it can kill Rin. It can kill Rin quick enough at times, so Rin cannot just um, alt and swerve your ultimate. But um, the problem with Six Pass Naruto, what I will say is again, one twenty second ultimate, which hinders him slightly, which is why he's not double S tier, as well as the fact that um, his mobility isn't that great. You, as you can see, I don't have the um, the, the truth seeking kick. Now, yes, it is an iframe jutsu, however, you are going to need the jump jutsu, like Obito, to um, get around and move more effectively, because you can't just rely on this, um, on this Rasengan to get you places, because it's just not that efficient. Uh, moving on to Kalem Naruto. So, Kalem Naruto has um, one of the best 60 second ultimates in the game, however, as you can see, I have level 5, because the damage on the ultimate is not that high. Um, so at level 1 it sometimes doesn't kill tanks, especially if they iframe mid ultimate. But at a high level you can't prevent that. Um, the perks of Naruto again, 2 second ailment heal for the whole team. Um, invincibility for 2 seconds I mean. Uh, as well as the broken Kuruma bite, which gives large attack buff 
Oh, not large attack buff. I think it's medium attack buff uh, and defense buff. And it regens uh, Caleb Naruto's chakra for him, which is absolutely amazing. The third and final dude too. I would on for me. I would probably put the raw on, just so you can uh, raw the installations away. Give the whole team evasion and critical buff, as well as uh, manually trigger traps. Um, Tornado traps in the way, but I can see why people would want to equip the Claw Jutsu because it is um, the main form of damage for Kalem Naruto. But again, as you can see, Kalem Naruto's main flaw is getting around the map. Um, the only real form of teleportation rotation marks he has is the Kurama Bite, which sends him forward. But again, the cooldown on that Jutsu is pretty pretty large, and yeah, he can't really get around very very effectively. Uh, moving on to Sasuke Wandering Ninja. Now, where his his problem is different because his kit is absolutely amazing. He's got one of the best kits in the game, um, guaranteed paralysis on his Shuriken Jutsu, and then defense down, small defense down. Um, this this combo alone just kills the majority of the ninjas. You can almost infinitely combo with this if you time it correctly, but you don't even need to combo because you pretty much kill everyone with defense down plus Shuriken. As well as the fact that he has a tile teleport that can get him around places very very efficiently. Um, again, the main problem with Sasuke Wandering Ninja is his ultimates. One of them is again 120 seconds, and it, it's not like Naruto's where it's fast enough to kill Rin, and it's not like Naruto's where it's uh, full, like uh, almost full tile. Like he won't be able to hit everyone in the final room every single time you use the ultimate. The problem with the 60 second ultimate is it's only single hit, and the range again isn't that great. So the final room is going to be a massive, massive issue if you don't have any supports with you. But if you do manage to have a support that lives through the whole um, through the whole map and you get to the final room, Sasuke is a solid, solid threat. Last but not least, Renegon Sasuke. Now, quickly going to point out his massive flaw, and I feel like the only massive flaw he has is his 122nd ultimate. Because I feel like Sasuke, um, he needs a 60 second ultimate to be broken. Because again, he already has two amazing jutsu that make him really, really broken. Uh, he's got an incredible kill combo, which is um, you can Amaterasu them, knock them up, use his regular attack, knock them back, and then Chidori them, and that should pretty much kill them. And if that doesn't kill them, then you can just Amaterasu them again by the time you've done the combo. Because both of these are a 4 second cooldown, and his regular attack does one of the best knockbacks in the game, which is a tumbling knockback. But this Chidori Jutsu is probably the best Jutsu, or well, one of the best Jutsus in the game for sure because it's an iframe, it's a full room teleport pretty much, as well as a high DPS shotgun Jutsu, as well as the fact that it can also have a chance to paralyze and it hits five times. So the chances of paralysis is very high. I mean, this Jutsu is crazy. And I've also forgot to mention, it gives large attack buff or medium attack buff. It, it, either way, it gives, a, it gives a high attack buff. And it's just like, I can't believe this. I can't believe this is just all in one Jutsu. But yes, Rinnegan Sasuke, again, massive threat. I don't have the final Jutsu with the uh, universal port on him because um, he does kind of suffer from chakra issues. So you do want to have the, the, the default chakra Jutsu just so Sasuke can regen a bit of chakra. However, when he does get a rekit, maybe he'll get a regen in Chakra Jutsu and he could get on into the double S tier category. But that is it for the uh, double S tier slash S minus tier. Uh, moving on to the final tier that I will be tiering, which is the A plus slash A tier category. And in this tier, we're going to have both the Itachis. Um, going to have Kabu, not Kabuto, uh, who was I was thinking, Oniki, that's right, Oniki, Danzo, um, Killer B, that was the guy being, beginning with K that I mixed up with Kabuto, Killer B, and where is your boy Shino, okay, so Shino, Killer B, um, maybe like this, something like this, yeah, um, so, these ninjas again have a lot more flaws than the ninjas they, uh, that are in S tier, but again, they're still very, very good. Um, Shino's main uh, main perk is just being able to trigger traps very, very eff effectively with his blue typing, giving him a lot of chakra and his trap clearing bug jutsu. Um, his ultimate, 
as well is pretty pretty decent because it puts a uh, massive uh, bug bug puddle in front of him and you're, you're gonna need this level again at level 5 maybe to do a um, decent amount of damage uh, to kill the enemy ninjas because they keep running into the poison bog but if at level 1 or level 3 you're not gonna kill them fast enough and sometimes they can just walk out of it but um, for the most part Shino is just really broken because he can, again he can bring his subs I cannot stress enough as usual how broken subs are but Shino can guarantee subs with you at all time which is why he's so good Tachi B2 now he would be higher if he's uh, fireball jutsu was a guaranteed seal however it's an rng seal which is why he's only in the a plus tier category because sometimes you're trying to do a combo and you just don't seal them and you're just stuck in a very big pickle and you can be sad but um the great thing about itachi is defense down plus crow teleport i mean he, he can just kill anyone really really effectively very very effectively moving on to killer b now killer b um he's also a great unit however Pretty, pretty annoying. Well, not annoying, but um, it takes a lot, a lot more brain power to use someone like Killer B because uh, you're just gonna have to worry about a lot of things such as getting hit and carefully um, activating your jutsu at the right time. But I mean, he's got a acrobatic jutsu that does lots of damage and regens his chakra when he hits enemies. Um, he has a good iframe, two good iframes, and one of the iframes inflicting uh, confusion as well as teleporting him pretty, pretty far. Ultimate again is going to be the Riki ultimate because it's just very very solid um, Tachi Uchiha, he has fallen from guys, but I mean he's still pretty pretty solid with MS and Shuriken MS guaranteed stun Shuriken doing just crazy amounts of damage with support Tachi can be still very very threatening as well as his one second teleport And you're gonna need the Yasuka beads the Riki ultimate for him to be anywhere usable Oniki is also a very very interesting pick um, He actually can infinitely knock down just like you know um, Hakage Naruto uh, Shisui Rinnegan Sasuke Yada yada yada. However, his damage output is very very low So he's actually gonna take a while to kill the ninjas But if you do have supports with you, Oniki can be a massive massive monster. He does have the um, a Very unique jutsu where he's actually able to avoid traps himself. He floats over them with this jutsu and then gives himself a large speed buff and evasion or a medium speed buff and evasion buff afterwards which is pretty pretty good but again another problem with Oniki is his ultimates both of them they're okay but they're not that great with dealing with the final room because they're just slow and uh, one of them is single hit last but not least Danzo now the problem with Danzo is mobility he doesn't have a jutsu that can actually teleport him or get over and traps efficiently however his kit in general is just so so solid and the main reason how you're going to beat fortresses is um, by gate crashing because he's ultimate especially at level 5 you can pull off a cheeky tactic where you can um, have the revive effect on you gate crash die and by the time you're um by the time you've died cr crashed the gate and they've killed you and you've revived you should have your ultimate back to ultimate the final room and kill them all off even with winning the final room because this revive effect actually makes danzo um, just take a long time to kill, revive himself and get up and by the time he gets up Rin's ultimate can actually wear off by that time. But again his Jutsu kit is absolutely amazing, you can equip either um, wind style Jutsu and both of them do uh, a massive massive amount of damage as well as pierce through iframes and I think this 3 star one blocks the projectiles, the, um, the Baku is a good iframe with the uh, with the evasion and darkness down as well, which makes these wind style jutsu do more damage. And the final jutsu is the wood style jutsu, which pierces through iframes as well and does slowed movement and all that good shenanigans. Um, I would recommend watching Red NXB. However, he did quit YouTube and delete all his videos, so um, rip to Red. If you did make it this far into this video, hashtag rip Red in the comments down below. But this is going to be the last tier that I go over with recommended kits and whatnot. Now I would like to do some honorable mentions that are still like this, like a, maybe like an A minus or like a like a uh, still okay uh, options for mains, which is going to be like Kabuto, Darui, um, Kirin Sasuke, EMS, Madara, 
Uchiha, if I can find him, and like Kirizen. So these units again are okay. Um, however, some of them struggle again with surviving, some of them struggle again with mobility, looking at Emis and Madaran, some of them struggle just with like the final room, looking at Hiruzen and Kirin Sasuke, and also Kabuto and Dari, they just can't really deal with the final room. However, if you do have supports with you while you play with these mains, you can find success. Now, I would also like to point out that um, if you do use mains, such as, you know, because I'll see a lot of people using uh, in, in the lower tiers, for sure, using people like Minato, uh, maybe DMS Kakashi, uh, maybe even uh, Mitsuki, Sai, Conan, Pain, ninjas like those. I'm going to drag them to the front so you can have a good look. Uh, maybe even Sasori or Hashirama. Like, I'm not saying that these ninjas, you, you can't win with them, because that's not true. Because if you have really good supporting units, you can relatively win with like almost any main as long as they're somewhat decent. Um, but for the most part, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, DMS and Conan and whatnot, they're just not as broken or not as good as the ninjas that I have tiered above them. Um, especially ninjas like, uh, in the S minus slash S tier plus, like they just, they don't even compare in terms of broken levels. Like maybe you can argue DMS, Conan could squeeze into A or whatever tier, but you cannot argue that they're worthy of S tier because... If you're an S tier, you've got to have some, some crazy, crazy shenanigans on your kit. And hopefully you can see that with the ninjas that I have put in the S tier above. Again, I'm not trying to slate. If, if your favorite is here and they're not double S or whatnot, again, I'm not trying to slate them. Again, you can always do, you know, double S, 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 and then maybe like goat, goat tier or whatnot. But I mean, again, for the sake of making it look presentable, I've got to do it this way. So... If you did enjoy this video, again, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing, all that good shenanigans. Um, comment down below what you think of this list, if you would make any changes, and if you would add some certain ninjas into uh, any specific category. The main categories I would want to say is, if you do think anyone is worthy of the S tier, you have to convince me how they are on the same levels as, say, you know, Six Pass Naruto, KLM Naruto, uh, even... Hokage Naruto Shisui type stuff like you gotta you gotta thoroughly explain why you think they're as good as these ninjas Because otherwise I'm just gonna be like what what are you talking about? But um, yeah again, hope you did enjoy the content. I will be making a uh, Meta analysis review on six past Naruto and Rinnegan Sasuke. So be on the lookout for that um, Without further ado. Thank you guys for watching again um like, comment, and subscribe, all that good shenanigans, and I will catch you in the next video.